Hi everyone. If you're like me and you play with electronics, usually you've messed with through hole components. When you get a little better and you move on to surface mount components, one of your best friends when it comes to placing them on the circuit board is a good pair of tweezers. Now when you actually go to make 20 or 30 of the same board, tweezers will get boring after a while and get a little tedious on your hands, especially when you're messing with smaller than 0805 surface mount components. It gets really hard. So today we're going to go and build a vacuum manual pick and place tool. And here's what you're going to need for it. A Tetra Whisper 40 aquarium air pump. Clear airline tubing for an aquarium. And a dispensing needle syringe. Okay, here's the pump outside the box. Real simple, four screws. We're gonna open it on up, and it has to be this pump because it's one of the easiest to modify. The only tool you need is a Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, once the screws are undone, the bottom half will just drop out, top half will pick up and off. Inside, all you have is an electromagnet, or a trans transformer that does an electromagnet, a magnet, the pump itself, and this is just some uh, sound baffling because this is meant to be a whisper model. The only thing you have to do is very gently get underneath the unit, underneath this white piece here, and pry the whole thing up nice and slowly until it releases. The whole unit comes out. Be very careful to keep the two O-rings. Now, to change this air pump from blowing air out to sucking in a vacuum is this white piece on this suction piece needs to be turned 180 degrees. So, just grab your finger, pull off, it's just a friction fit. It comes off, turn it 180 degrees, re-stick it back on. Make sure it's lined up nicely. And now we're going to reinsert it into the unit, being very careful not to crush these O-rings as it presses against this back spot. That's it, close it back up. Okay, the second part you have to work on is the dispensing needle syringe. This one has a pink head and an 18 gauge blunt tip needle, which I've already bent into a slight angle for easier pickups. All you have to do is pull the plunger out, drill yourself a small hole, then take the plunger apart, Take the black piece off, grab yourself an X-Acto knife, give yourself a very, very small hatch right here. And the reason being is you're going to take your aquarium tubing, you're going to get three feet of it. You're going to take one end and you're going to go from the outside push it through. So it's like that. And you're going to take your syringe, push it back in before the hole. And then put some silicone in here to seal it. This way it doesn't move around at all. Once you plug the air hose into your compressor and turn it on, now you have a vacuum. And now you can pick up capacitors as big as a 2917 with ease. Cover the hole. 
pick it up, let go of the hole, and let's go. SOT 25s, 1210 resistors, O603 capacitors, and even QFNs.